Hello, and welcome to today's video. In this lesson, we're going to explore the top eight misconceptions students often have in mathematics and how to fix them. Whether you're a student struggling with math or a teacher trying to help your students, understanding these common mistakes is crucial. Let's dive right in. A lot of students believe that when squaring a binomial, you can simply square each term separately, but that's not the case. Remember, squaring means multiplying something by itself. So, x plus y squared actually means x plus y times x plus y, which expands to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Key tip, don't forget the middle term, 2xy. This is a classic mistake where students misunderstand the order of operations. The base here is 4, not negative 4. So, Negative 4 squared means the negative sign is not part of the base. It should be interpreted as minus, then 4 in brackets squared, which equals negative 16. Key tip, do not confuse this with minus 4 all squared. Here, students sometimes try to multiply the base by the 2 first, but according to the order of operations, we need to square 3 first. So, 3 squared equals 9, and then you multiply by 2, giving you 2 times 9 equals 18. Key tip, follow the order of operations, exponents before multiplication. Students sometimes incorrectly cancel the 2 in the numerator, but both terms in the numerator must be divided by 2. To fix this, rewrite the expression as 2x over 2 plus 8 over 2 equal x plus 4. Or, we could factor 2 from the numerator then divide numerator and denominator by 2 to get x plus 4. Key tip, treat each term in the numerator separately when dividing. This happens when students forget that one quarter is a single term, not two terms to be multiplied separately. To fix this, put the whole number over 1 and recall that it's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator when multiplying fractions. This gives us 3 times 1 over 1 times 4, equaling 3 quarters. Key tip, always remember to put the whole number outside over 1 and treat the fraction as a single unit and follow the rules for multiplying fractions. This mistake happens because students confuse the rule that two negatives make a positive, which only applies to multiplication and division. In addition or subtraction, two negatives make a more negative number. To fix this, use a number line or algebra tiles to visualize the problem. In equations like 4, x minus 5 minus 3x equals 9, some students might think that moving the minus 3x next to the 4x will change the sign of the terms. This is wrong. The signs stay the same, since it's still on the left relative to the equal sign. The correct way is to combine like terms, so 4x minus 3, x minus 5 equals 9, and you get x minus 5 equals 9. Cross multiplying seems like an easy shortcut, but it doesn't apply to equations like this one. The correct approach is multiply each term on both sides of the equation by the lowest common multiple. This avoids the confusion of cross multiplying, which leads to errors. These misconceptions are common, but with practice and understanding of the underlying concepts, they can be easily corrected. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other math videos.